Welcome back to our show, Importation Stevo TV, TTV. Today we're joined in the uh, studio with uh, Doug Ross from Avon Tires. Originally based out of England, th this company has been around for over a hundred years now. And Doug's going to tell us a lot about its history today. Doug, welcome. Thank you. This company has been existing since when? Um, originally first went into production in 1885 as Avon Rubber. Um, it started making motorcycle tyres in 1911. Has been making them on the same site ever since uh, at a place called Melksham in Wiltshire, just outside of Bath in the southwest of the UK. So I've done a little bit of research on the company. And what's, in, what's a, an astounding little detail here is that you guys are still in the original buildings from over 100 years ago. I think we've probably even got some of the original staff. That's, inc <laughs> that's incredible, though. The, uh, the other thing that's really cool and it really marks out is that you, the company went through two huge war efforts as well. It went through the First World War and, and had to pretty much dedicate all of their productions to the war effort, both in the First and the Second World War. Am I right? I, I think, you know, as a, as a manufacturer, you know, that was making rubber products, and the demand from the war effort for tank tracks, for gas masks, for rubber dinghies, for rescue equipment. Um, I think any self-respecting manufacturer would would jump to the chance of supporting its nation in its struggle against the oppression. You know, was, what, what was, where was the big change in in where the company went into motorcycling in such a big way? I think I think the uh, originally the first major change came with the first slick tire introduction. Um, back in the in the early 50s when we suddenly got into really competitive motorsport and motorsport took off. The, the war years were a little bit lean and, and uh, it's fair to say that there wasn't the disposable income around for people to have hobbies and play and and we were just recovering after the war but by the time the, the 50s clicked around people were starting to look for, for entertainment and enjoyment, you know, an adrenaline rush again. I think you know, the, the trauma of the Second World War had been left behind and people had an appetite for excitement again. And then, you know, you came along with things like the Isle of Man TT, where we were all dominant, uh, all the British championships, all the hill climbing events. Mm -hmm. um, and, and motorcycle, uh, motorsport was incredibly successful for Avon. You know, we were the tyre of choice for, for most of the world champions at the time, most of the British champions and the European champions. And just generally across Europe, motorsport really took off. And we, we rode that wave of success as well. Most people possibly don't realise that the tyre has to actually be capable of going a lot faster than it can go. Because the whole point is to go to that speed and slow down safely. So the, the, amount, the heat build up in that tyre is, is just astonishing. So yeah, technology, if we keep pushing the boundaries of technology, if we keep looking for that extra little bit of grip or life or wear or whatever it might be, it's always got to be good for the road tyre side because we're making safer products for everybody. Now, not just on the performance side of thing, vintage tyres. You guys are the specialists in vintage tyres nowadays. It's a really popular thing to be doing um, bobbers and choppers and all kinds of vintage bikes and, and new renditions of these type of motorcycles, these era type bikes. I think, I think it's safe to say that Avon's probably got the highest or the largest selection of uh, vintage style tires uh, and sizing on the market, if I'm not mistaken, uh, pretty much out of uh, any, any of the other manufacturers. I think, I think there's, <clears throat> there's two reasons why we're so strong in this segment, if you like. Um, firstly is, is that we haven't tinkered with the product particularly. A lot of my competitors have gone radial construction on some of these. They've gone for super silica compounds and modern, a lot of modern technology in a tyre that doesn't, doesn't actually require that because what people want is the authentic heritage look. So we've stayed true to the original designs on a lot of them. Yes, we've made the compounds better, particularly in the wet, and we've given them more life because, because you can. But we stayed true to, it, to the, the heritage and the history of the product. And what we don't do is we don't try to retrofit a modern product into that segment. We just develop what we've got and stay with it. So some of the tooling that we're using is, is, is probably dates back and is, 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 is mirrored from the original tooling that we had back in the day in the, in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Triumph, renowned motorcycle company. Uh, you guys did some development as well. I think you're the OE supplier for some of their models as well, am I? Yeah, we, we're, we're very lucky. We work very well with Triumph, iconic British brand. 
the synergy between their iconic British brand and my iconic British brand has been exploited. We developed specifically a tyre for the 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 um, Thunderbird, um, the Lightning LT. It was a, a radial white wall that nobody had ever made before for a production motorcycle. And Triumph came to us with this project idea and it has never been done, but we worked with them and, and we successfully manufactured a product for them. The spin-off of that is that now we're uh, OE on the Bobber, the Bobber Black, yeah. the Speedmaster. Um, and we've got some fantastic, new, exciting OEs that we'll be able to tell you about fairly soon. That's really cool. So there's yeah. some new stuff up the pipeline. There, there, there is some new stuff already in the pipeline, yes. And we'll see that later in the year, I think. Spirit, where did this come from? The ST. So, Spirit ST is, is uh, again, it's an evolution of a, of a Storm 3D product that we had, which was extremely popular. Um, obviously, within Europe, there was a need for better and better wet grip as the climate changes for whatever reason. So we decided that we'd look to try and get to a class leading level of wet grip without sacrificing the mileage that we were already renowned for with the product. Um, and out of that uh, innovation, the, the Spirit ST was born. So it, it's basically a tyre as good as the Storm in terms of performance uh, and mileage, but with exceptionally good wet grip to, you know, obviously cope with inclement weather. The cruiser market, the American V-Twins, for example, Harley-Davidson, Indian motorcycles, etc. Cobra is a, the perfect model for those type of bikes. And I think that... Um, Avon has a very unique uh, road hazard warranty that, that follows that uh, that model as well too. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the Cobra range is, is is vast in terms of its uh, availability of front and rear sizes with black and white wall options. And when we're trying to encourage our consumers to try our product, the more peace of mind that you can bring to that buyer that he's made the right decision, he's getting a value for his money. Um, and we're quite happy to, to reinforce that with offering a road hazard warranty that is applicable on, the, on the, both on the Spirit ST tyres and the Cobra tyre. Um, so that if anything does happen to that tyre, there is a way for him to be compensated for any loss of, of use he was going to get out of it. We can't ignore the, the category of adventure bike now as well. And you guys have a great line of adventure bike tyres. We've seen an explosion in, in the use of adventure sport bikes across the globe, really, particularly in, in Western Europe and now in the States. Um, we're very good at Avon in terms of seeing what's coming along on the market. We've got a very good trail rider product that's sort of 80% road, 20% off-road, possibly near a 90-10. But then just to satisfy the proper off-road market, we've got a new product called Trek Rider, which is a 50-50 product. Um, and that seems to be incredibly popular for, we call it green laning in Europe. I don't know whether you have a, you know, just slightly off-road but not proper motocross. And, and that's a huge leisure industry now really growing up in the, uh, in the European countries. What's new? What can we, what can we expect in the future? Uh, again, that's a very, very good question. I mean, we are going to be adding to the Trek Rider uh, line with a few extra sizes for some of the big 1250 adventure sport bikes. But... Uh, we're very excited. We've actually got something coming brand new at the end of this year, and uh, I'll be able to share it with you and your viewers slightly later in the year. But we've got a whole new range coming that's going to be uh, a big seller for us, I'm sure. I'm excited to see that. I'm looking forward to it. A company with such a rich history, literally pioneers of the motorcycle industry, and still just as relevant today, innovating and coming up with new exciting products to support motorcycling. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate your time and uh, it's a real pleasure. Thank you, Dave. Thanks. Me too. Nice to see you. Well, I certainly hope that you've enjoyed our interview with Doug Ross from Avon Tires. Thank you for watching Importations Tebow TV. Keep an eye out for further episodes and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.